Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to our to the chapter seven our class, which is photography. Now, our final exam will be this um, July 21, 22. Therefore, we have to uh, do our best. We have to cope with our schedule since our examination is fast approaching. And for today's lesson, this is very interesting. I know everybody could relate on this. Ginagawa natin to araw-araw. And other people are doing business with this. Lahat tayo, we can earn from this kind of art. And I believe lahat tayo is my potential in this kind of art. Now, this afternoon, we will be discussing about photography. Now, the arts of photography and what is the relation of photography in arts appreciation. Now, in this lesson, please do not skip this video. Please write your name in the comment section that will serve as your attendance. And uh, please follow uh, on this video because I will be asking some questions. So, may mga question tayo maya in the middle of this discussion. Okay? So, one more, one more thing is I want to inform you that we will be having our graded recitation on Monday. Magkakaroon tayo ng graded recitation through Google Meet, no? So I will just inform you in our group chat when uh, about this graded recitation that will be done through Google Meet. Now, kung wala pa kayong Google Meet, please install Google Meet kasi magkakaroon tayo ng graded recitation from our discussion from the very beginning up to the end. So, dawang lesson na lang yung natira sa atin. So, I hope we can finish it until Friday. So, now I will uh, share my screen to everybody so you can see it and you can follow with my discussion. Again, please do not skip this video. Do not skip this video because I will be asking some questions amidst this discussion. All right, so chapter seven, photography. But before we continue, I, we will read this um, quotation coming from Aaron Siskind. Now, for him, photography is a way of feeling, of touching, of loving. What you have caught on film is captured forever. It remembers little things long after you have forgotten everything. And that is really true. Now, even um, in our case, we are actually doing this photography to save some memories. Diba? Ang buhay ng tao ngayon parang hindi na magiging kompleto kapag walang cell phone, walang photography. Because this is our way or this is our own way of saving memories. Diba? So kung punta ka talaga, parang hindi kompleto ang hat pag walang camera. That's why everybody brings camera wherever they go. They capture all the happiness, all the uh, memorable happiness that they could experience. So parang gano'n, no? Kaya, as of today, ang dami ng mga businessmen, which their business actually focuses on photography. Okay? So, andyan si Natakurong, andyan si, si Disan, andyan si, excuse me for a while. Um, andyan si Disan, andyan si, sino ba ba yung alam mo dito, Natakurong? Noel, Abaro, ano pa ba? Um, what you call this? Ang dami dyan. Ang dami sa takurong actually. Where in mind, makikita natin na they are already earning. They are earning money because of photography. Now, before we start, these are the objectives of our lesson this afternoon. First, um, at the end of this discussion, uh, you should be able to first um, recognize Recognize the history and importance of art. Second, appreciate the role of third in photography. So what is this role of third? We will understand it later. Now, three, discuss the types of photography. And number four, we also have this demonstrate understanding of the essential components and feature of camera. And five, display an ability to do photography. 
So I have here questions. So pipili tayo ng isang question lang dito. So please answer this question number one lang. Sige. For five points, I want you to answer this question and kindly write your answer on the comment section. So the question is, um, why do people take photos? Ito yung tanong ko, ito number one. Sige, kulayan. Now the question is, why do people take photos? Only answer number one. Please comment down your answer. Kasi dapat ito recitation, but since we uh, some of you are encountering problem with their internet connection. So, what we're going is just simply type your answer on the comment section. So, why do people take photos? I will give you. So, I want you to give your own idea, your own opinion. So, ano ba yung interpretation yung sa question na ito? Like, why? Why should we take some photos? Please answer it. I will give you one minute. All right, thank you so much for um, answering this question. So I hope everybody knows why, or I, I hope everybody has his or her uh, reason why they do, you know, they take these photos. Now let us begin with the origin of photography. So saan ba nanggaling ang salitang photography? Ito ba yung dala ng mga Espanyol or gawa ng mga Pilipino? Now, the word photography is from two Greek words, photos or phos, which means light and graphe, for lines or drawing. Therefore, photography is described as the art in creating or drawing durable images by recording light using either photographic film or image sensors. That's according to Spencer 1973. If you observe, no, nagkaroon din ng evolution ang photography kasi... If you could still remember, no, yung klase ng photography meron, ang gusto lang panahon is yung black and white, itong tatawag natin yung photographic film, kung saan kailangan mo pa, di ba yung klase ng photography dati, um, pag picture, hindi ako pa siya makuha, kailangan mo parang ibabad mo pa siya something, then parang ikulong pa siya, then how many days pa siya bago makuha, no? tinatawag na develop na siya, kaya na develop na. But as of today, we could say, that there is this uh, modern way of taking photos, no? Just in second, no? Ilang minuto lang, segundo, you can actually print the picture right away. And aside from that, kung noon ang panahon is we only use um, black and white. Today, may mga pana tayo, different colors, multiple colors. We also have some application on how to edit, how to beautify these photos. Like the simple photo, pwede tayong gawing sobrang ganda. Because of some filter, and dyan si filter, we have different apps, no? Ang sikat is, ngayon is yung Lightroom. I know you are using Lightroom. Please keep that Lightroom because in our next activity, magamit lang yung Lightroom. In our next activity, okay? So you have to keep your Lightroom. Now, um, it was first coined by Sir John Herschel in a lecture before... Um, 
before the Royal Society of London on March 14, 1839. So ito talaga yung nag-origin. This was the time where in photography happened and it was in uh, London on March 14, um, 1839. Now it has become a powerful means of communication and a mode of visual expression that touches human life in many ways. That's according to Eder 1945 and that is really true, no? Taking photo actually conveys some communication. It actually expresses emotion, no? So kaya minsan sabi ko nga, uh, these are already considered as visual arts, no? Wherein there is a communication between the viewer and the image, no? So upon looking at the picture, minsan no, we have our own interpretation. Ah, this picture will tell something about love. This picture will tell something about revenge or something like that. We have different way of uh, uh, expressing our thoughts or feeling and for some photographer, they could actually express their feeling through taking picture, no? Maka-addict, mag-take ng picture, lalo na pag maganda yung application and your camera. So, yung camera natin pag maganda. Now, importance of photography. We have always wanted to reproduce the world around us, beginning with cave drawings, so ito na ito, um, paintings on canvas, and eventually leading to the invention of photography. So, diba dati, drawing, drawing lang tayo dati, but later on, ayan, nandito na si photography. Now, our photograph shares so much about who we are as individuals. It tells what we find beautiful, fascinating, funny, delicious, meaning, inspiring, diba? Lahat na lang, magkain, picture. Bago mag... Uh, Pag may biniling damit, picture. No? That's, that's our way of appreciating our existence. That's our way of appreciating what's around us through photography. No? Lalo na mga mahalagang bagay, mahalagang event, mahalagang tao, we really tend to take picture, di ba? And just si camera na kasama natin. Because we wanted to what? To save memories. To document all the memories. No? Kasi ang sarap balikan, no? Kaya ako, when, when I went in, in Singapore and Malaysia, kailan ba yun? Last 2019, as in, lahat ng laman ng picture ng cellphone ko, gidelete ko talaga lahat kasi I want, I may not delete it talaga. Gisayan ko sa laptop, then sin, uh, dinilet ko. Kasi nga, kailangan sabi ko, sabi ko, bago ako makarating ng Singapore from Jensen pa lang sa airport, so picture-picture na. Because, because that's my way of documenting. Gusto ko i-document lahat ang journey ko no? Yung ibang tao, they try to write their journey. But there are some people, and maybe I'm one of them, na lahat ng whereabouts is picture. No? Kailangan may picture. Kaya may kami mga tao nagsasabi na lahat na lang picturean mo, kulang na lang pati pagtae mo. Anyway, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. No? Bakit mo pakilaman yung tao? Eh, that, that is her or his happiness. Ang pangit dito is you're taking picture of others then ipopose mo, ipapahiya mo sila and that's the problem. Pero kung wala ka nang maapakan, hindi naman malaswa yung larawan natin. We just want to express happiness. We just want to express our joy, our memories. There is nothing wrong with that. What's something wrong? Or saan ang mali? It's in the people who judge us. Kaya don't be hesitate to post anything. No, as long as hindi uh, naman nakakaapak sa iba, there's nothing wrong with that. It's your art. It's your own expression. And nothing can change that. Because that's you. That's who you are. Okay? Now, um, yun nga. No, pumunta ako ng Malaysia, Singapore. As in, delete lahat. So lahat, pati pagkain, gibidzo, lahat. Kasi nga, I'm curious about Singapore and Malaysia. And you know what? Their place, you know, their place is very amazing. Very amazing ang Singapore and uh, Malaysia. So that's why, sabi ko, worth it. Parang, it's not, it's not good. Or, my journey will not be that complete without taking photos. So I really did my best lahat, no? A picture sa mga foreigners, sa mga beautiful places, the food, no? We ev I even take some video together with the Malaysian people and Singaporean people, diba? Because I want to save those memories. So at least one day, kaya nga minsan pag I'm tired, then minsan hihanap ko, sana kaya yung mga pera ko, no? Sometimes, I'll just check my gallery and, ah, okay. So at least may makita tayo. Hindi yan nabili ng pera, no? And we cannot bring back the past. We cannot bring back those memories. Kaya, if possible, i-document nyo lahat ng mamahalagang bagay sa buhay nyo. Para at least sabi somehow may mapakita kayo sa mga anak nyo or to anyone. Ah, nakapunta ako ng Singapore. 
this is what I've done, something like that. No? That's how photography works in our lives. Kaya ngayon parang, kung dati yung mga cellphone, walang camera, ngayon lahat di camera. Lahat ng cellphone, mayroong camera, yung iba, sobrang ganda pa. Masyadong uh, high definition, pixelized, di ba? Because of modernization. No? Because there is still this uh, evolution. May nag-evolve pa rin yung ating mga camera. Okay. Now, it allows us to show, okay, it tells what we find beautiful, yan, fascinating, ito yung sabi kanina, funny, delicious, meaningful, and inspiring. And today, if you observe, malaki yung ginagampanan ng photography and videography, especially in having some documents, some evidence. Di ba ngayon? Pag may mga ginagawang violation ang mga tao, mga key officials, pwede mong videohan, picturean, that will serve as your evidence. Kung baga ito na yung nagiging first evidence na ginagamit ng tao, document, or we call it MOV, mood of uh, verification, to prove something. So kasi wala ka, pag wala kang pinakita ng video or picture, parang yung sinasabi mo, niloko niya ako, or ano ba dyan, pinahiyaan niya ako, parang it will turn nothing. But if you have some photography, some bibliography about it so everything will be given justice now it allows us to showcase our style no and this is really true our styles our interests no minsan iba iba yung interest natin minsan yung iba gusto magpala ng picture about nature yung iba naman about animals yung iba naman about human beings yung iba naman tungkol sa mga damit relationships no ito talaga ang pinakamalaga sa lahat minsan no Nahihiwalay na kayo ng shota mo, pero yung memory ay doon pa rin. Kaya yung ginagawa ng iba, they have to delete the photos. Kasi hindi sila makamove on. Oh, kaya ganun din ba tayo? Or maybe yung mga picture na print, sinugin, busy, punitin. Kasi ayaw mong balikan. Kasi nga, this picture will bring you back to the past. To your memory. So kapag mas pangiting memory mo, so basically, i-delete mo talaga. Kasi we don't, you don't want to go back in that situation. Now, adventures, yes. Having adventures, actually, uh, this will be very meaningful with photography. Except pumunta kayo ng mga tapo, pumunta kayo ng Colombia, pumunta kayo ng US, pumunta kayo sa isang farm. So parang gusto mo na, especially today, now we are having vlogging and uh, yun, yung mga prenup, pre-debo, di ba? So, yun yung mga halimbawa ng mga photography na kung saan we can earn money from them. To mark the passage of time, yes. Tama din po. Photography has been used in advertising, books, magazine, newspaper, television, and search, research to convey information and advertise products and services, yes. Kaya makita natin sa mga billboard, nandiyan yung mga magagandang larawan because their purpose is to advertise some products, Okay. Now, the digital era of photography until the present time, photography was quite a problematic type of art to maintain. One may have cameras with different lenses, manual focus, and complicated settings. However, with the advent of digital camera, ito na yung technology, all this complexity vanished. Lahat na wala, no? Kung dati, uh, kailangan pang puntahan, pero mukhang capture na yun, no need. Just uh, upgrade your lens, and pwede mo nang punin yun, ganun kalayo. Kung dati, uh, walang way, yung camera i-tally, then itapon, parang ganun, isway-isway siya. Ngayon, may drone na. So parang, all this complexity vanish, na wala lang because of digitality, because of this advent of digital camera, which brought to us by modern technology. Now, digital cameras have a different way of saving images. Instead of using film, it uses the sensor into, in, in, save images onto a digital memory card. Ito na. Dati kasi film lang, pero ngayon, we use memory card or sometimes our internal storage. Now, digital photography is the art of manipulating and producing digital pictures. It uses electronic photo detectors to capture the image focused by the lens. The capture image is stored as a computer file ready for digital processing, viewing, and publishing. So ito na. This, is, this scenario is in the modern era. No? We have digital photography na lahat na kaya ng i-manipula ng lens, yung tinakalayo, anong style, and right away, pwede mong i-save in your laptop, to store in your laptop, and do some processing, viewing, and finally, publish or ma-print mo na siya agad-agad. But today, hindi na also yung printing, anong also? Posting, publishing. 
we sometimes people just need the soft copy, no? Pahingi ng soft copy, hindi na tayo kailangan ng hard copy because most of the time, we post and we are really, um, you know, exposed with the use of social media. Especially you noong know, Instagram, dyan yung magandang mga larawan, edited, filtered na mga picture. And, and I guess uh, Instagram itself, meron yung sariling editor, no, if I'm not mistaken. Parang no need na mag-install. So later on, magagamit tayo yung mga skills yung sa photo editing kasi magkaroon tayo ng last activity or maybe our second to the last activity. I will post it in our image. Now, the technique in photography originated during early to mid-1600s. It started from the camera's uh, predecessor known as the camera obs obscura, a Latin word which means dark room. Ito yung sasabi ko sa inyo, dark room with a box, wherein uh, when the light went through the pinhole, it formed an image on the glass. The famous artists of the Renaissance who used the obscura were Leonardo da Vinci and Michael Angelo. Ito yung mga sikat sa paggamit ng obscura. Now I will show you how does this look like. Ano yung mukha ng obscura para makaidea kayo. Okay. Let's find what obscura is. Kasi ako parang hindi na ako sure. Obscura camera. Ayan. This is it. This is what we call obscura. Okay. So if you observe, para meron siyang box, dark room. Ayan. Let's see others. Ayan. So masyado siyang effort talaga. Like, um, kailangan talaga na sa dark. And this one, ang dami actually, ang dami, or ito, yan. Yan ang obscura camera. Parang malaki siyang box, sobrang laki yan siya. Kaya may pasok yung mata, so parang ganun din naman. So that's obscura. Now let's see. Now in the 1820s, Joseph uh, Nips, a French scientist improved the lithography, a method of printing technique which is based initially on the immiscibility of oil and water. Joseph discovered a way to copy engravings onto glass using a variety of materials, mainly bitumen, light tricking as pulp. When light shined through the paper, it burned an image into dark bitumen which created an almost identical image from the original. So parang may sunog-sunog effect dito, no? So, tingnan tingnan anong lithography. Let's see what is lithography because I'm not, I'm not also, I'm not really uh, particular with this. But let's see. I don't, I don't even experience this one. Hindi ko nito na try. But this is how it looked like. Tingnan natin nung Ayan. Try not to switch. Ah, okay. So parang, parang risograph yung style niya. Ito yung traditional way ng pag-print din, yung parang ilagay mo na yung image sa taas, then you put something, some oil, some asphalt, at tama, yung print. Then kailangan mo i-equan siya ng kalot-kalot siya, ganyan, ganyan siya. Then, until ma-form yung image, so tinan natin. So, I guess ganun yung lithography. Ayan, like this. Pero siyempre, expect natin na hindi, magandang, hindi masyadong maganda yung quality ng picture. Medyo similar lang siya. Kasi nga, quick note, o oh, yan, ganyan. Parang you will just simply use ink, then parang ganyan lang. Then agad, i-copy niya, no? i-copy niya. Ayan. That's lithography. So, still, they are very traditional, no? If you observe traditional. Like, ngayon, masyadong modern. 
Now in the 1890 or 1900, photography became available to everybody. It, it, its fame started with George Eastman, who was the founder of the Eastman Kodak Company. Ito, kaya minsan siya sabi natin, magpa-Kodak kami. Actually, Kodak is a brand. Pero parang sa ating mga Pilipino, especially sa amin, parang naging part ng life ng tao na Kodaker, di ba? Sabi ang Kodaker, photographer or maniniyot, di ba? Kasi nga, Kodak, this is the first term used in 1900. Now, the first camera open to the public was the Kodak. Ito. I can still remember si Papa, meron din siya dito ng Kodak. Pero yung pangit lang sa Kodak yun nga, unlike sa, sa ibang mga digital camera ngayon or mga cellphone, pag-capture mo, makita mo, pwede mo i-delete. Pero noon, hindi pwede yung Kodak pag-print, yun nga, parang i- ipa-develop yung term nila, parang isaw-saw nila, then ba i ikulong ng ilang araw, then bago siya mag-form. So that's the process of Kodak. Now, on October 17, 1969, uh, Williard Boyle and George Smith of Bell Laboratories invented the charge couple device, or CCD, a type of sensor that is used to capture an image by taking the light and translating into digital data. So yeah, naman, another invention. Whereas in December 1975, the first recorded attempt to the building of prototype digital camera was made by Steven Sasson. So ito na nag-start na yung once, 1975, parang unti-unti na nag evolve karoon ng mga digital camera, which was um, made by Steven Sasson, an engineer of Eastman Kodak. This camera weighed 9 pounds, and can record black and white images to a cassette type. Cassette type, alam niyo yung kwan, di ba pag-print mo nung kwan, nung picture, pag-picture mo parang pagbaba doon, parang meron siyang maliit, no? maliit yung black, iwan ko makita nyo. So yun, no? yun yung gamitin, doon magbe-base yung pag-develop ng picture. Then take note dati, oh, 0.01 megapixel pa lang. It was able to capture. Ngayon, grabe na yung pixel natin. No? Dati, 0 0.01 megapixel. Ngayon, 36 megapixel, 12 megapixel, di ba? So, doon pa lang malalaman natin kung gaan mo ang um, katradisyonal dati ang ori ng camera. So, ito na. Now, in 1988, the first real digital camera that recorded images are computerized. Uh, how was produced by Fuji. So ito na si Fuji ngayon. Isa si Fuji film, if you could remember. Or DS-1P. During this year, the first JPEG, ayan sa JPEG, MPEG standards were fixed. Ito na yung mga format ng picture. Di ba, minsan pag magsasave tayo sa ating cellphone, minsan mag save as JPEG or MPEG. Now, this standard set in place a universal format which allowed JPEG and video MPEG to, to store not store that, to store in a compressed form which can be recorded to 16 MB, no? megabyte internal memory. Now, in 1990, Dicam model became the first commercially available digital camera. It also sold the Logitech, no? Logitech Photoman. It used a CCD or charge couple device. So, ito na nagamatamat na, no? naging chargeable na siya. Image and sensor and pictures, digitally connected directly to the computer for download. So, pwede mo na ngayon i-connect sa laptop, i-read niya din, pwede i-download. Pero dati, walang ganun. Walang ganun, Mars. Now, what is the rule of third composition in photography? One of the main factors that differentiate a great photography from an ordinary one is composition, or how object subject plays in the shot. Kaya ngayon, sabang perfect kapag may angle, kapag may angle talaga. Okay, it is also a compositional rule of printing and photography. The rule of thirds, yung rule of thirds. The rule of thirds is known as the guideline which applies to the process of composing visual images like, like in painting, yan ha, combination of, um, kung ano siya, so parang nag-evolve na siya. Hindi na siya simple yung pagbaba na lang tubig or doon sa box do sa um, photography but now meron ng mga sa different kinds of color okay this process is divided into nine equal parts by two equally spaced horizontal line and two equally safe vertical so tingnan natin ito. the rule of third asserts that an image is most pleasing when it when um when it's subject poised along uh, 
along image imaginary lines which divide vertically and horizontally the image in thirds it is applied by the lining a subject with the guidelines in their intersection points placing the horizon on the top of it ay parang may ganito sa mga camera if you observe yung parang box box para makuha mo yung parang meron siyang count kung sa center ko sa side dapat balance dapat meron siyang symmetry therefore this is used excuse me ayan now likewise using the rule of thirds help produce nicely balanced yes meron siyang balance kasi nga perfect yung angle mas sabay hindi malaki dito hindi maliit but then it's perfect it's on the eye's picture. Also, as you have to arrange things relative to the edges. Um, excuse me. Relative to the edges of the frame. It helps get rid of small subjects surrounded by a bus person. Now, ano yung mga uri ng camera, no? We have here types of photography or type mga klase ng larawan. So we have aerial photography. It refers to taking a photography of the ground from an elevated position. It is acquired through the use of specialized camera mounted such as fixed wing aircraft, helicopter drones, balloons, kites, and parachutes. No, ito na yung sinasabi natin, aerial photography na kung saan. Capture niya lahat, no? Pinagamit ito usually sa mga documentation, sa mga prina. Even in my video during my journey in GMA, you know, with tourist star journey, we actually have our drone. So, isa na dito yung pwede nyo gawin, so pwede nyo pag no? As topography, ano kaya ito? It focuses entirely on taking images from space. This type could vary from the planets to stars or any other anxiety configuration. Ito medyo risky. Ito siya kasi yung mga astronauts yung kumukuha nito, when they go to other planets, Mars, no? They went to other uh, to Jupiter, to Sun. Now they actually take some picture. That's the, that's the reason why we have idea. Ano ba yung mukha ng universe because of this astrophotography because of our astronauts. Now we also have this commercial photography. So from the word itself, commercial. It is a photography or it is a photographic work done for commercial purposes such as corporate brochure. Yes, leaflets. Yung mga ginagamit natin ng mga flyers, menus, in cafes, restaurants, magazine, yes. Advertising, merchandising, product placement, it has various types such as under commercial. Advertising photography, this type of photography is used to highlight a product. So alam naman natin kapag advertise, the purpose of this photography is to sell product, to encourage people to buy product. Now we have architecture and interior photography. This photography is used in capturing images of structure and beauty of an interior space in which <clears throat> photographer use lightning techniques to attract clients. So it's usually ginagamit sa mga bahay, sa mga condo, diba? it's architecture. But it's, it's also risky, it's also time consuming. Kasi kailangan pa ng magandang kulay. Lalo kapag sa dilim, no? kapag yung uh, pag-capture ng bahay is in, yes, and the dark, so we really have to put some light. Now we have auto automotive photography. This photography is done by a car or automobile or automobile companies and dealerships to promote brand new, new or existing cars, driving awareness about the cars, features, benefits. Ito naman tungkol sa mga sasakyan, so automotive photography. Food photography, ito, always ito po. Mula na kapag we want to review a new restaurant, no? Nagkaroon tayo ng review sa mga pagkain. This photography is specialized category of commercial photography which is used to capture the pictures of various uh, cuisines and menus in an attractive style. So ang daming effect, no? Paano mapaganda yung mukha ng isang fried chicken? So kahit kuhan lang siya, bulad na lang siya kung may effect. So you can do it. You can make it beautiful through photography. Excuse. Now we have jewelry photography. Um, this photography is used in highlighting beautiful images of bracelets, necklace, ring, and other. So self-explanatory naman siya, no? 
Ito naman, journalism photography, of course. Ginagamit sa mga journalism, sa mga news, sa mga short story. And product photography. This photography is used capturing excellent images to act uh, actively represents a product in advertising. Ganito rin, no? ginagamit sa advertising ito, pero um, it's really excellent. Now, it sometimes includes people as part of the product, no? especially mga models sa mga tanduay, di ba? It attracts people to see someone they know or a face that is like about a product, especially if we're selling glutathione. So yung mga larawan, syempre mga guapo, mga ganda talaga, yung mga makikinis, because they are trying to engage, they're trying to um, uh, get the attention of buyer na bilhin yung kanilang produkto because of this um, picture. Now we have also aside from, yung una kaya na is, um, we have commercial photography, aerial, we also have fine art photography. It refers to highly creative images that have an abstract influence. These photographs can be equal to an artist's expression on painting. So fine art, sobrang ganda dito, no? It's a highly creative images that have an abstract influence. Especially ginagamit ng mga fine arts. Forensic photography, ito, makarelated dito criminology. Kasi magkaroon kayo ng subject about forensic photography. It's also known as the crime scene photography wherein the work of the photographer is mainly to capture images for an accurate representation of the scene of the crime. So ito, kinukuha yung the scene of the crime, that's forensic photography. Headshot photography. This type of photography focuses mainly on the person's face. This is also known as the mug shots. Lalo na kapag you're trying to capture the image of newlywed, yung mga birthday, or yung mga model ng isang product ng pagwaganda. So hanggang dito lang siya. Um, macro photography, this type of photography is about close-up images of a specific topic. It is commonly applied mainly to capture details or organism or nature that may not be visible to the naked eye. So ito yung mga amazing na mga photography. Yung kayang picture yung kutu, ano ba yung muka ng lamok. So pwede yun, pwede nyo yung gawin. Then nature photography, of course, it compasses all forms of photography where the main subject has something to do with nature. It focuses on landscape, wildlife, and water, plants, life, are they are uh, in their natural environment. So ito yung mga natural. From the word itself, nature, lahat ng pwedeng capture is about the beauty of nature. Nude photography, it is about a portrayal of human body in the naked form. So ito usually, especially sa mga model na mga sexy na mga products, or maybe some promotion, pwede din ito. Portrait photography, meron na ito sa mga ano, iPhone or in, in, even in Android. It is all about capturing the mood of a person with an emphasis on the face and expression of a person. Minsan kapag portrait, yung emphasis sa mukha natin, then yung background is parang blur na siya. So pwede yung gawin din sa inyong project. Still life photography, it is all about capturing objects on camera that are deliberately grouped to create a particular composition. This requires photographer to have an excellent lighting technique. Ito naman yung parang, parang hindi siya maganda-ganda, but through photography, pumibigyan siya ng buhay, no? So, it's a group of object. Minsan, yung mga baso, uh, ginaipon, then kuna ng picture, or ano man dyan ang mga object na nagkakaroon ng uh, napakagandang output. Now, we have street photography. It is all about capturing candid images of public places or even people in their natural element. It requires the photographer the skill to mingle with people and achieve the best friend. Candy, di ba sabi na hindi alam, parang on the spot, parang stolen, no? We know it's stolen. Especially kapag sa street, kung ano yung nagawa ng tao, makapture mo talaga kung nakalot siya or umiiyak siya. So this is candid, no? That's street photography. But whatever you see or surround you, you can take some picture. And that's natural. Now, travel photography. It involves capturing images of a particular landscape, traditions, and customs or even people from different places. So ito, travel. Si Nash Daily at saka si Dream Nightfall ba yun? Diba? So sila masyado sa ilang mahilig sa travel photography kasi mayaman sila. So wherever they go, they capture the people, their food, their kinds of culture. So parang ganun. No? So tapos na natin. Kunti na naman ito. Then again, your activity will be kailangan nyo mag-capture ng isang napakagandang larawan, pili na kayo doon, portrait, nude photography, 
uh, nature photography, macro photography, headshot photography, forensic, fine art photography, or even this um, uh, aerial photography, astro photography, or commercial photography. Any, then kailangan nyo lang i-upload sa ating image. So, tingnan natin, sino sa inyo yung may pinakamahal. Pwede nyo siyang i-edit, ha? Editing is also advisable. Pwede kayong mag-edit using Lightroom. Pero huwag lang sobra-sobra. Dapat natili pa rin yung pagiging natural ng isang image. Now we have essential components and feature of camera. Cameras are beneficial devices and used for the sole purpose of capturing which images will be. Okay, alam naman natin yan. Now, um, some essential components and feature of camera are as follow. So meron tayo itong, um, uh, ilan ito sila? Meron 16 features of camera. Let's see what it is. Of course, one of the uh, components or feature in camera, we have aperture. It is an opening in which uh, light travels through and can be adjusted to control the amount of light that which the image sensor. That's aperture. You have to know how does it look like. Kasi hindi ako masyadong familiar sa mga components, no? But let's see, what's this? Yeah, this is aperture. Yung parang ina-zoom natin ito, no? Parang ina-twist-twist natin para, uh, para let's say, mag-zoom in or mag-zoom out yung ating uh, focus ng ating camera. We have built-in flash. We have body. We have focus point selection. So, ito yung, F, yung AF shooting. Minsan kapag cellphone yung gamit mo, parang ilong press mo lang. Ha? We have hot shoe. Is it a section or it is a section of top of the camera and used to attach flash unit. Lens, lens mount, lens mount index, lens release button, live view shooting, menu button, multi-controller, self-timer, shutter. Usually, ito sa mga digicam, no? And viewfinder in IPs. Ito minsan doon sa, sa isang uh, manual digital card, DSLR, so meron itong pilihan. But anyway, you can look on this na lang for some clarification or from for some uh, information. Now again, your assignment will be take some picture, take some beautiful picture, pinakamana picture na alam nyo, pwede sarili nyo, pwede nature, pili kayo dito. So anyway, na-discuss naman natin. We have here aerial photography, astro photography, commercial photography, pwede kahit alin dyan, fine art photography, forensic, headshot, Macro, nature photography, nude photography, for nude pero wag mag less, ha? Still life, pero yung masisexy lang. Street photography and travel photography. Okay. So again, we will be having some um, Q&A or we call it uh, great agitation on Monday. So I hope everybody is prepared for maging smooth, no? Smooth yung ating uh, discussion. All right, so again, your activity will be take some picture based any types of picture. Basta maganda, pwede siya i-edit using your, any application you have, your Lightroom, and so on and so forth. And you try to upload it in new, in Elites, and I will be giving there the, uh, the link or the, the button where you can submit your uh, project or your assignment. Okay, so thank you so much. I hope you've learned something from this, no? I hope everybody learned something from this. Again, our examination will be on, uh, don't worry, our exam will be very objective. Wala nang essay. Sinakapagod mag-check. Just kidding. Will be on July 2021 or 21, 22. Basta before final exam, we'll be having our great dissertation. Okay? So goodbye, everybody. I hope you're okay. Please keep safe. See you, see you maybe next year or next semester. Pag okay na. Goodbye and God bless.